Krista McCoy with Red Carpet Fashionistas, and today we are in Planet Hollywood in Las Vegas, ironically enough at the uh, Wedding Chapel in Planet Hollywood. The information that Che has to give us is awesome, because everyone from around the world is able to go to Las Vegas and go to like the best nightclub and get really dressed up and be fabulous, where not everybody necessarily on a red carpet or can go to Los Angeles to go to a nightclub, but here in Vegas, everyone can come. And I'm sure everybody wants to get into the hottest nightclubs. Well, luckily we have someone, we have Che with us, and he does work all of the hottest nightclubs in Las Vegas. So he knows his stuff. Che, you consider yourself to be a VIP promotional host, correct? That's correct, yeah. Can you kind of share with us how that works for you? My job is to basically walk around, profile individuals and groups of people who are um, prospects to go inside and are dressing the right attire and hopefully aren't too tipsy. <laughs> because then they won't let you in. Basically, I profile people for our nightclubs. I actually met Che one night where I was in LA, I went to a red carpet, I flew on a plane, came here, and I was walking around a casino, like all dolled up, and he approached me and he's like, hey, do you want to, you know, and I was going to this club, and I was like, oh, I don't know, you know, and he's like, no, really, you know, I'll hook you up. I was like, okay, and I ended up going in. Um, long story short, we became really good friends, and now whenever I come to Vegas, uh, he's a great friend to have for helping me get into cool clubs that you know normal right. people can't really get into. You know a lot about men's fashion when it comes to uh, club promotion because obviously you are dressed really nicely whenever I see you and you are, like you said, you profile people. Of course, our show is about looking good and fashion and all that kind of fun stuff. So from a men's point of view, what kind of tips and tricks can you give for uh, going into clubs and stuff as a guy. In Las Vegas, basically there's, for the guys, there's more do's and don'ts for guys. Women have better fashion than, than uh, men do, so there's usually never have any issues with women getting them into the club, pretty much no matter what they're wearing. There's more of a do's and don'ts for guys, like the don'ts, basically the tan hide boots, white shoes, any kind of like cargo pants or shorts, and then just like plain colored a t-shirt, um, tees. Basically, you don't wear any combination of that whatsoever. Even if you're just like wearing jeans and a white and a white tee, you're not guaranteed to get in. It's key for men, especially with men's fashion, because obviously that's what we're all about on the show. Is um, you know to just dress nice, you know, just really honestly present yourself in a really nice manner. Don't come in looking like you know a like thug or someone who right? you know roll off the couch <laughs> off the street. Exactly. Basically, men have two options: you wear you wear designer jeans or you wear like dress slacks. Obviously, you wear like nice shoes that have been polished, hopefully. Mm -hmm. You know, not too many scuffs. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> sports jackets, you don't have to wear a tie all the time. Uh, if you're wearing a sports jacket, it's nice to wear the 70s style with the, the collars that are out and then your cufflinks that are flipped up. One of the styles that are coming back is like, it's like the, the retro paisley. If it's done in good taste, but it doesn't look like it came from the 70s, but more like our style. It's dressy and classy without having to be like in a suit and tie you know, all the time. That's basically the minimum of what you can, what you need to wear in order to get into a club properly without having any issues or getting hung up or getting sent to the back of the line, <laughs> so to speak. Do you see that a lot of men do make it perhaps show up in suits and ties? Or, or where, what kind of, how does that work? Not very many. Uh, suits and ties, mostly if you go to like a five-star lounge uh, type of place, they do, because they specialize most, most mostly in like bottle service. When you go to the nightclubs, Unless there's a big convention or a venue out, you don't see a whole lot of people wearing suits and ties. They're mostly, they've got, their, they've got the jackets off, you know, the ties are a little bit unloose, you know what I mean? So it's kind of more of a laid back type of environment. And it's not really necessary if you're going to a nightclub. Mm -hmm. You know, plus it gets hot in there. And so mm -hmm. it's best just to be relaxed and with your attire and um, not having to wear your jacket, but still looking good at the same time. And ties, you know, shirts, you know, suits and ties without the jacket is, is perfect as well. And it's interesting because everything that she is sharing, um, it, it, it's the same way for the red carpets. You know, there are some red carpets where men have to show up wearing suit and tie, and it's just that's just the way it is. It's like you just expect it. But then there's other ones which exactly what you were saying, you know, maybe just the just kind of a loose tie or kind of this look or that look. And sometimes you can wear like designer jeans, but you don't want the jeans to look really bad. And right. you know, it's very similar with men's fashion on the red carpet also. And, and that's really interesting, actually. It kind of, kind of goes, over, goes mm -hmm. over everything. One thing to remember as a male coming into like a hot, hot Las Vegas nightclub is um, coming up to a host or knowing a host and, and really having that uh, relationship, having the host walk you to the door. And you were mentioning uh, tipping the host. Key in Vegas, it's most important to have a host 
take you to the club. Most of the time it gets you to the front of the line, depending on what kind of venues are going on. Either you're going to pay to get into a club or you're not going to pay to get into a club. <laughs> yes. Basically, you need to find yourself a host in Vegas and always tip your host. Depending on who you're talking to, a lot of us work on commission and tips, and then some people are on salary. But generally, everybody accepts a good tip. Or if you want to get into other nightclubs, because if you just go into one nightclub for the evening, you can always act, go back and ask your host if they can put you on a guest list for another four or five star nightclub down the street, maybe for the next day or for the next night. And basically, you got someone on speed dial you can call up for all of your needs. If you do show up and you do look really good, and let's say perhaps you don't have a host, a host will actually find you. Whereas if you come and you look kind of sloppy and you're walking around, you're gonna end up waiting in line for three hours uh, to get into a hot club, and then you're gonna have to pay a ton of money to get in. So that's another reason why, let's say maybe you don't have the best fashion sense, it might pay to go out and buy something before you go to a really, really nice Las Vegas club, just so you can meet someone like Che, who will pick you out and say, hey, do you wanna come in? And so do you have any additional comments or anything else that you want to share with our viewers? The key for gentlemen, if you just got a big group of guys, your best bet, honestly, is to buy a bottle service. Because then you get your own spot, and that's easier for you to have more, for them to have more fun in the club if you... <laughs> and easier to pick up on the ladies if you exactly. have a table with bottle service. Hint, exactly. <laughs> and if you don't do a bottle service, usually you have to pay to get into the nightclub. So even if you're on the guest list, they still make they still might charge you to get on the guest list. But if you come with like a one to one ratio or like a one to three ratio, you know, two guys, six girls, or you know, two and two, then it's easier to be on the guest list and not have to pay to get in. And then even so, once you're on a guest list, you still need to find a host that's around the area so you get treated properly when you get to the front door. And they'll explain to you all the do's and don'ts for the club and while you're waiting in line. And then obviously when it comes to women, and I'm sure Che you probably agree with this. The sexier the better. I mean, when you're going to go to a Las Vegas club, just go all out, have fun, wear your best dress, put on your most popular, fabulous jewelry, and do your hair and makeup. Why not? You're in Las Vegas. So as long as you look great, not only will people like Che be able to pick you out and be like, hey, do you want to come into this club VIP for free? But also, you're going to have fun, guys are going to check you out. It's going to be a lot of great times. So just do your best and really take the time to get ready before you go to a Las Vegas club, especially if it's a four or five star one. My name is Kristen McCoy with Red Carpet Fashionistas coming to you live from Planet Hollywood in Las Vegas at the Wedding Chapel. And uh, Che, since we're here, yes. um, do you uh, do you have any, should we get married? I mean, we're here, right? It is Vegas. Yeah. Remember, we're not supposed to walk up there. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. They told us we couldn't actually go up there. Well, maybe next time. Maybe next time. So again, thanks for tuning in and thank you so much, Che, no for problem, the interview. I really appreciate it. Have a great one.